Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Noel George Whelan. We've all witnessed in the last couple of days with the news, the sad news about everything being closed down, our restrictions, we can't go anywhere, fly anywhere, drive anywhere. So what's happening is it's getting a bit negative out there. But what happens is I want to basically take this uh, concept of coronavirus and simplify in a couple of steps. I'm going to give it to you in six easy steps to help you uh, basically deal with this lockdown and deal with the fear. If you have any fear, I really want to alleviate that fear by keeping you informed. I want to make it simple for you. First things first, coronavirus. What does it actually mean? Well, coronavirus is the term used for COVID-19. Uh, COVID means basically the CO you see behind me here means it's a type of corona type virus which hasn't been seen in the world before. Before. As uh, the Prime Minister here in Australia just basically says, this is a one in 100 year event. So that's quite serious and significant. Please pay attention. I'm asking you to please pay attention. When you're told to stay at home, stay at home. When you really understand how this works and how it actually transfers from person to person, you will understand why it's important. If you need more evidence, just to look what's happening in Italy and the amount of deaths and how this is transferring around the world. Now, it's important to be informed because that's how we manage the threat. And we meet that expectation of what's required of us and how we have to behave. As I said before, this virus will be as with us as long as we allow it to be with us. Now, the first point there is, this virus does not chase you. It lies on sub-objects. It lies on buildings. It lies on tables, surfaces. So it's really important that when you go out, you first of all have to ask yourself, plan ahead. Do I need to go out? If I do need to go out, can I get everything done in one chance? One opportunity to go out and get what I need to do. Are done sorry so everything is closing down around us but we mustn't close down our minds we need to be inventive we need to be creative and we need to be thinking ahead now the second point is this think ahead if you have to go out what do you need with you be prepared take your phone with you take your phone charger with you take cash with you just in case the cash machines can't be used or you've got thousands of people trying to get cash from machine have cash use your time now get fuel for your car be thinking ahead Let's really get to grips with what we're actually dealing with and saying, OK, if I go out, there's going to be queues. There's a narrowing of uh, services. So we really understand that people are going to be using services at the same time. So let's be prepared. Let's have our phone charged. Let's have cash. And most important, have your identification with you when you go out. Because don't be afraid. You will probably see police officers on the, on the streets. You will see soldiers on the streets. They are there for your protection and to keep order. Because sometimes in these types of events, we have seen around the world that order is minimized and we do have a bit of chaos. And chaos always cries out for structure. And that's why we see armed forces, people on the streets, and we see the police. It's there. Remember, these police officers, these soldiers and these people have families too. So they're out there protecting everyone else. They need support. The next one is social distancing. They say social distancing for a reason. We are not talking about social isolation. We are talking about physical distancing. That doesn't mean we can't speak to people. We have the best technology in the world. We have technology for talking, Skype, internet, Instagram. We have all of this that helps us to assist to keep in touch with our families. Now to my family on the opposite side of the world, who I can't be with at the moment during this crisis, I just wanna say that I do miss you. I can't get to you because of lockdown and I will keep in touch with you no matter what. And to everyone else's family out there, remember, we have to keep social distancing for the simple reason. It's not that we might be healthy and perfectly healthy and don't feel we'll become vulnerable to this virus. But it's the germ that lives on us when we take it to other people who are not so fit and healthy as the rest of us. We must keep that in the back of our mind. It's really important that you do this for the people that you love. You need to understand these people cannot protect themselves. We have to keep the protection by keeping that distance. Next, remember the phrase men, M-E-N, as man, men. This infection comes to the mouth, the eyes, and the nose. And being in close proximity to droplets and people speaking and people's vapors. And again, this is why we have to keep that social distancing and actually taking it into consideration that this is very serious and we have to pay attention. The last one is protect the people you love. It's really important we do this for the people that we love and care about. Thank you very much. I'll make another video in the next couple of days. If you want to get in touch, you can contact me through this channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.